Now, I'm not knocking folk who work in business. I think whatever. If you can find a good job and that's what God wants you to do, you can be blessed at what you're doing. But it wasn't what God had for me. You've got to know what God has for you. And if, it's what, if that's what God wants you to have, you ought to do it like it's your ministry. You ought to do it like it's your life. But you better be sure you're doing what God has for you to do. I, I, I would I could have still I would you know, I probably would have been a regional manager right now for Kmart. That's not a bad job. That's it's not. <laughs> but it wasn't what God had for me. I would have been stocking shelves, hiring employees. That's a good career. But it wasn't what God had for me. And see, what you've got to understand, you've got to find what God has for you. It doesn't matter if it's sweeping the floor. If that's what God has for you, you better sweep it like Michelangelo did paintings. If it means taking care of the sick, you better take care of them like it's your mother, like it's your father. Whatever God has for you to do, you better do it with all of your power. Somebody ought to help me in this church this morning. Because if you understand the power that God will provide, then thirdly, you need to understand the prize. Because you see, God always has a reward for those who are willing to follow him. And I'm convinced this morning that as God moves Ebenezer forward, as God moves us as individuals and as, as a church and as a community forward, I believe God is ready for us to take full possession of all that he has for this church. Because you see, his plan for our lives is very important. Because you see, in order for Israel to accomplish God's plan and to possess God's prize, God issued them a command. He said, prepare. You've got to get ready for God's blessings. You've got to prepare yourself to receive the prize that God has for you. They had to prepare provisions for the final portion of the trip. You know, you ever went on a trip before and you, you discover that you didn't take along with you enough money for the trip? And by the end of the trip, you're trying to borrow something. If you can't say amen, just say, I know all about it. <laughs> but God wants us to prepare. And it's more than just preparing your provisions, but you've got to learn how to prepare your heart for what God wants you to have. And, and as we prepare the hearts, we'll begin to see God's miraculous power. And so, because you see, God helped the children of Israel cross the Jordan. And what's the Jordan in your life? What do you need God to help you cross over? Is it a bad relationship? Is it a lack of funds? Is it a bad work environment? That's your Jordan. But I got good news this morning. God's going to help you cross over it. I wish I had a witness in this church. But you see, you've got to prepare yourself to receive what God wants you to have. Because if you don't prepare yourself, when God provides it, you won't know how to use it. You mismanage it. You waste it. But if you know how to use what God gives you, how many of you know that God will take it? He'll bless it. And he'll multiply it.
Can I get a witness in this church? And so God just stopped, just led me by Ebenezer this morning to let you know that we've got to embrace his plan. We've got to accept his power. And then we'll be able to receive the prize. Somebody ought to say yes. We, we've got to get ready. Because God is about to do something wonderful. We've got to change our old way of thinking. We've got to change some of the old ways of doing stuff. Because God is about to move. You've got to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is about to bless you. But you've got to get over the shore. You've got to get over the water that God has for you. You've got to step over your problems. You've got to step over your doubt. You've got to step over your pain. You've got to step over your failures because God has a blessing with your name on it. Your name is on it. Your church's name is on it. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to somebody, tell them, get ready to move into your blessing let the church stand